Hey, what's up guys? Lore here, and I have a bunch of cool stuff I wanted to talk to you about. So, as you may already know, I've been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch TV lately. I've been uh, just trying to, basically, every time I'm playing a game that I can stream, I've been just going ahead and throwing up the stream, just because, why not? Why not play games while hanging out with hundreds of people on the internet? Why not? It makes perfect sense. Plus, uh, it's a great way for me to connect with people more often and just be like, hey, how's it going, guys? Let lets me hang out with the fans more often. It's something that I've really been wanting to do. Uh, so I've been doing it a lot more lately. Now, if you've ever watched my stream, you may know that it kind of looks like a bucket of ass. It's not exactly the most crisp and clean stream ever. Uh, which really ends up kind of making, like even the sound quality ends up being bad, makes it really, really hard to actually watch. There's a lot of people that hang out in the chat room, but they're really just there for the chat at that point. They're not there because they can see anything that's going on on my screen. They, they just can't tell what's happening. It's really, really frustrating. Uh, so, hmm, where do I start with this? Okay, so not too long ago, I finally upgraded my internet connection. Hooray, no more 8-bit lore on Legendary. I uh, finally upgraded my internet connection, and I was really, really hoping that as that it would just somehow work out that as I upgraded my, uh, my internet connection, I would be able to bring up the stream quality to at least something relatively respectable. Uh, unfortunately, my computer just can't handle that. My current computer is pretty old. It's, a, uh, it's one that I bought... Uh, during Sunwell progression, and it was not top of the line when I purchased it back then either. It was, um, it's a, well, here, it's an Intel Core 2 Duo processor, uh, old, old, old motherboard and chipset and everything. It's using DDR, I think it's actually using DDR1 RAM, only four gigabytes of it. Uh, it's just old. Like, the, the parts are just so far behind at this point that um, upgrading my computer was going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, there's a couple parts in it that were decent, but for the most part, it's just the, the CPU was a huge bottleneck. Like, even just playing World of Warcraft, I would be sitting at 90% CPU usage just by myself. And, and streaming is also something that's incredibly CPU intensive. So it, it, the end result was that, basically. It, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, because it's behind me, but it looks like crap, and the frame rate is also awful, and there's no sound, but it sounds pretty bad, too. So, I, I really wanted to be able to provide a better stream. I wanted to be able to put something out there that people would actually want to watch so that I can get more people, so I can hang out with more people, because that's that's really, really fun, and also because I, you know, I, it's just what I enjoy doing. This is why I do the Weekly Marmot, the PST, Legendary, all that stuff, is because I enjoy presenting something out there, gaming-related, that people are going to enjoy watching. That's just what I like doing. So, um, I started saving up money. I started saving up to, uh, to actually upgrade my computer. I was putting aside a little bit of money here and there. It was going to take me a while, but I was putting aside a little bit of money here and there. Uh, however, people would come into the stream, and they would, they would watch, and they'd be like, why is the quality so bad? Why is it look, didn't you get new internet? Why is this, why is this so bad? Um... And I have to give an extreme amount of credit at this point to the moderators in my stream chat, uh, Savannah and Lil Missy. Uh, they started saying, well, you know, he needs to upgrade his computer parts. If you want to help him out, go over to his Facebook page. There's a donate link over there, and you can, you can send him some money. And every once in a while, someone actually would. They'd be like, hey, okay, here's, here's like 10 bucks or something. And that was awesome. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's amazing. Like, the, the thought that anyone wants to send me money for any purpose is, is amazing to me. But um, very recently, I started, uh, I've been calling it Bro Grounds because, I, I don't know, it was just a name that came to mind. I've been leveling my, my rogue, uh, and I'm leveling him entirely through doing Battlegrounds, which I'm just having a whole ton of fun with it and hanging out and doing stuff with the chat room and everything. So what's going on behind me right now is actually a, an old recording of me doing some Bro Grounds. And basically over the weekend, I don't know what happened, but money just started kind of pouring in for me to be able to upgrade my computer for uh for me to put something better out there and it's um it was it was kind of shocking like it, it it's just uh, amazing so i i have to absolutely 100,000 percent say oh my god thank you to all of you guys because jesus i went like I had a little bit of money saved up. Don't get me wrong. I was, I was like, I was working my way there, and I was kind of like, eh, well, I'll get random donations from time to time. Uh, Twitch actually approved me for, as partner status, so that was all money that was going towards uh, getting my getting my computer upgraded as well. So I was like, cool. I'll just I'll use the stream money to upgrade my computer. That'll be awesome. And within the span of about 
three days, I went from maybe being able to afford like the motherboard to being able to actually purchase the most ridiculous machine I have ever even thought of owning. Like just community support from, from everybody who was watching and, and everybody that just felt like throwing money at me was just completely overwhelming. Like it's just absolutely just crazy to me. Like it's just, it's very, very uh, humbling. Cause I mean, there, there are people that are just now sending me money just to like, here, have some stuff. We want this to be better. We want to see you in higher pixels. We want to be able to hang out and watch this. And we want, we, we want this. This is something we want. And we're willing to throw money at that in order to make it into something that we, we will enjoy. And that's just, that's, that's amazing. Like, there were people who were donating very large amounts of money, like larger than I would have ever even thought anyone would want to throw at me. And on top of that, there were also people like just throwing like five bucks at me from time to time, even less than that in some cases. And both of those are just extremely like that. It's just it's mind blowing to me for for I mean, you've got the people donating large amounts of money who are obviously willing to put a large investment towards. Uh, making this a, a better, making, letting me do something I want to do better. And also people on the other end of the spectrum who they, they really can't afford it, but they want to throw something anyway. They, they really want that to be, uh, it's, it's, it's really, really just, it, it's hard for me to parse all of it. It's, I'm still trying to, to mull it all out in my head because it's absolutely just, overwhelmingly awesome and even the people who never even like they, they just couldn't send any, any money whatsoever they just they couldn't afford it or even if they didn't want to I'm, I'm not judging at all in that regard even in the stream chat just people saying lore play a commercial lore you, it, you've done like three games play a commercial we, we need more commercials give us more commercials because I, obviously like I mentioned I have I now have partner status on on twitch tv uh, I get some of the revenue every time an ad is is played on my stream they really really wanted me to just play commercials that's, that's my you guys are supposed to hate it when i play you're supposed to be mad you're supposed to be like oh here he is just trying to get money but these are people going can you just leave the stream up so that you can just play a commercial every so often i'll watch you stand around in orgamar just play a commercial every so often i'll just leave it running and that's just that's i'm dead apparently right now that's um that's that's really really just uh, it's hard to, I, I, I can't actually nail down the emotions that that causes. It's, I don't have words for it, and I usually have a lot of words for things. So at, thank you guys so much. This is, absol this is a dream come true for me to be able to have uh, a computer that's actually capable of doing all this stuff. I'm 99% positive that uh, my, my, uh, my internet connection now will be able to support a full 1080p stream at 30 frames per second. If it doesn't, I'm gonna find a way to make it. Like I, I have higher options available with Comcast now. I, my goal, I will not rest at this point until I'm able to put out a 1080p uh, at 30 frames per second high quality stream for you guys because this is just, it's overwhelming. I, I, I wanna be able to give, give back to you guys as much as humanly possible because this is just a ridiculous, ridiculously awesome thing uh, that, that you guys have done for me at this point. Anyway, let's. I'm I'm really really bad at this this mushy stuff, and uh, I know the reason that a lot of people are even watching this video to begin with is because y'all want to know what I got, what's what's on the way, what goodies are coming to uh, to sit in Laura's new toy box. So first things first, uh, there are two parts that I did not replace uh, because I'm actually going to pull those out of my current machine because they're they're relatively current parts. Uh, one is my my solid state drive, my Intel X25M uh, solid state drive. That's 160 gigabytes. Um, so that's, that's pretty decent. That's, that's all right. I'm, I'm pretty happy with my 160 gigabyte SSD. Uh, the other is an NVIDIA GTX 560. That's my current video card. Uh, it's not the TI, but, uh, basically with all these other parts in there, I, I'm not sure I'm even going to need to upgrade my video card. If I do, I'm absolutely going to, but I, I don't think, I, I'm not sure. That, I, that I'm going to need to upgrade my video card, and I don't want to like take more money from people or, or spend other people's money, uh, and I'd, I'd like to at least order the parts I can now uh, and see if I need to upgrade that further once they're in here and once I've got everything going. So uh, those are the parts I have already, my, my 160, gigabyte, 160 gigabyte solid state drive and my NVIDIA GTX 560. Now, 
I got most of the parts in today. There are two parts that uh, I haven't gotten yet, so I can't actually build the machine yet, and they're kind of important. Uh, that would be the, uh, the processor. I'm getting an Intel i7-2600K processor. That's a pretty beastly processor. Now, uh, one thing is I don't want to overclock the machine. I want it to be good without overclocking. And the reason for that is stability. It's extremely important to me in building this thing. I need to have something that I do not ever have to worry about pushing it to its limits. I want it to be, excuse me, I want it to be something that is solid and working incredibly well without pushing it to its limits. Like I, I need to, I want, I want stability basically. It's, it's really, really important. If you've been watching my stream, uh, you've noticed like sometimes I just crash or just awful things happen and the stream goes down. I want that to stop happening. That's really that's that's awful from a, a providing a, a quality product standpoint. That's that's awful when my stream goes down. So that I really really want that to stop happening. Uh, so I'm I'm not planning on overclocking it. That's the reason I did not go with the i5. A lot of people were saying you don't need the i7, get the i5 2500K and overclock it because it ends up performing better. Uh, I I don't want to overclock it. I want I want this the standard thing. Other reason that I went with the i7 is because it has hyper-threading support, uh, and I'm not 100% on how all the, the stuff works there, but my understanding is that when rendering video, which, you know, I do a lot of rendering video, uh, it's actually going to be a better uh, better processor for just straight-up rendering video, uh, and that's, that's what streaming is, and that's what all the other stuff that I do is, so I, I wanted to make sure that now... You might be wondering why get the 2600K if you're if you're not overclocking. Why not just get the 2600? The reason for that is it was like 15 bucks extra on Newegg, or no, it wasn't even Newegg. But it was a site called Superbiz that I ordered the processor through. That's why I haven't gotten it yet. I've got all the Newegg stuff. I didn't get the Superbiz stuff, but um, it was like 15 bucks extra for the K. And I figured, all right, well, I, I don't want to spend money I don't have to, but at 15 bucks. Why not get the K so that I have the option? I don't have to spend another three hundred dollars down the line uh, if I do end up wanting to overclock. It's just fifteen bucks, and then I can overclock it later on down the line. Once this machine eventually becomes outdated, it'll happen eventually. Uh, why not have the option of overclocking at that point? So that's the processor. The only other part that I'm waiting on right now is uh, I'm getting an aftermarket CPU cooler. I'm getting the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus, uh, which is, uh, is is really just another CPU fan you put on things. It's nothing crazy. It's not like a water cooling system or any like super ridiculous fans that blow out the PCI ports or anything like that. Uh, it's just a uh, another CPU fan that sits on it, but it's gotten really, really ridiculously good reviews in terms of raw cooling power. It, um, it's one of the most uh, efficient uh, aftermarket CPU coolers you can get. So. Um, the reason I do that, again, if you've been watching my stream, you know I've been having, one of the problems I've been having with stability is due to overheating. I've been having that problem. And I'm going to be working this processor pretty hard, I imagine. Uh, if I'm not, then I'm going to be f trying to find ways to work it even harder. So I want to make sure that that thing is cool. I want to make sure I don't ever have to worry about overheating ever again under any circumstances. So that's why I went with uh, the aftermarket. Plus, it was only like 25 bucks. So why not just get something that's going to be solid for the sake, again, of stability. Now... That's the parts that I don't have yet. I have a box sitting next to me of the goodies that I do have. First up, let's look here. This. Oh, I hope I don't drop my microphone. This ridiculously large package is actually the power supply. This is a, uh, what's the name of this thing? Seasonic X750 Gold Power Supply. I'm going to try and pull this thing out here. Uh, let's see, you got manuals and stuff. It's like an unboxing. I, I've opened it once or twice, but... There's an unboxing for you. And it comes in this, <laughs> this little, like, velvet bag. That's kind of kind of funny. Um, I don't even know why I'm getting this out. It's, it's going to be a power supply, and you're going to look at it and go, yeah, that sure is a power supply. But um, there's, like, a wrapper thing around it. Anyway, this thing is... Until about a week ago, I had no idea that a power supply was something anyone would ever even write a review about. I didn't even know that was a thing. But then I was started going, huh, well, yeah, no, I'll probably get, need to get a new power supply. I should probably get something better. And people started going, I was, like, suggesting, why don't you, uh, I'll just get, like, a 1,000-watt power supply. That'll be fine. And people were like, no, 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 no. You don't want to get a 1,000-watt power supply. That's a waste of time. What you want to do is get a really, really good 750 to 800-watt power supply. 
and that's what this this got extremely good reviews. It's a uh, a gold standard. I forget exactly what they what the certification is, but it's a gold certified uh, power supply, 750 watts. Got some of the best reviews for basically anything you can throw at it. Plus, it's got all these little extra modular ports on the back, so that if I do end up adding stuff later on, I may do so. So uh, again, the, the big thing there is stability. A, uh, a 750 watt gold standard power supply, first of all, it's going to actually provide more raw power than a crappy 1000 watt power supply because it's more efficient, uh, which also means like it's more economical and stuff too. I'm not like running up my electricity bill like crazy. Um, but on top of that, let me see if I can get everything back in here. On top of that, it's also very, very reliable. I don't have to worry about power spikes. I don't have to worry, uh, well, I still have to worry about power spikes, and there's a, I'm putting a UPS on the thing also. Uh, but there's just a lot less overall that I have to worry about. Little tiny power spikes, little tiny fluctuations of power aren't going to happen with this power supply. Uh, it was actually very, very steady in the reviews I was reading in terms of the amount of power it's going to put out. And when I'm putting all this, these parts in this thing, that's, that's kind of important to me. I want to make sure that I'm not, like, I'm not feeding it dirty power, basically. All right, next part is my motherboard this is i don't know that i'm actually going to get this out here it's an asus p8 uh what does that say p8z68-v motherboard um, a lot of people recommended the p8z68-v pro that was like an extra 60 bucks and the only reason to get it is if you were overclocking so i decided not to get that even though you know i got the 15 uh, i got the the 2600k so that I could overclock it at some point. Uh, I'm not that worried about, <laughs> I'm not that worried about being able to over, overclock it eventually. It's just like slightly nicer for overclocking. So I was like, eh, 60 bucks probably aren't worth it. Um, I'm not gonna pull the whole thing out, but hopefully you guys can see it through the, the wrapping there. Um, but basically it's just a, a really, really nice, really, really solid motherboard. Um, I've always been a big fan of Asus. Asus and Gigabyte have been the two motherboards that I've generally sworn by. Um, a whole lot of people were recommending this motherboard specifically. So, um, so yeah, that's what I ended up going for there. Uh, let's see what else have I got here. Um, this is just a, like a $20, uh, DVD drive. I just, I figured I should probably put one of those in the machine. Kind of important. Um, interesting side note I should mention now. Um, I was waffling between putting all the new parts in my current case or getting a new case, and uh, and basically it was going to be a case and a, uh, a DVD drive to uh, to make a whole separate computer, because I still have my old video card, my old hard drive and everything. I can actually replace the parts that I'm pulling out of my current machine and have another machine there. Uh, and that's what I ended up deciding to do, just because at that point I have this second machine available. So in those cases when I would like to be live streaming in the next, uh, as soon as I finish a video, I'd like to be live streaming in the next 10 minutes, I can go ahead and do that and I can sit on, I can have this other machine worry about rendering, you know, PST or the Weekly Marmot or whatever. I can have that machine doing all of that and, uh, and meanwhile I'm actually able to go online and be like, yeah, PST is rendering right now, it'll be uploading in a little bit, here's, here's my streaming stuff that I'm doing. So that was that, that logic there. It's actually going to be a, a huge deal in terms of me being able to pump out more content more regularly, uh, which I, there's a lot that I want to do in that regard. Final, well not, not final, there's one more piece after this. Uh, I got eight gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaw RAM. There we go, kind of look at it there. Aside from looking pretty cool, it's also uh, one of the highest recommended uh, RAM brands and such to, uh, to actually get. It's apparently really, really good. A lot of people recommended Corsair as well. I was kind of waffling between whether I should go Corsair or Ripjaw. Ultimately just ended up being, I found more people recommending the, uh, the G-Skill Ripjaw than I found recommending the Corsair, so. That was just sort of a popular vote at that point. Uh, there isn't anything particularly more involved than that going on there. The last piece that I have now, I'm not going to show it because it's massive, but I am putting all of this stuff in an Antec 900 case. Uh, and again, it, yes, it's a flashy case. It, it looks kind of cool. It's got like the window on the side and everything. Excuse me, that wasn't really important to me. What is important is that it has this massive fan on the top of it and another one on the side. And uh, again, I want stability out of this thing. That is the absolute most important thing is this needs to be stable. It needs to sit there and function and work like a dream. And uh, overheating 
it, it's been a problem. I don't ever want to have to think about my computer overheating ever again. So getting this case with this massive fan on the top and the side, that's really going to solve a lot of those problems. There's going to be really, really good ventilation in there. It's also nice and roomy. It lets me fit all the parts in. And, uh, and that way I just don't ever have to worry about it. I just, it, this is never going to overheat at this point. So that's all the parts. Uh, that's everything that's going together. Um, yeah, I still have my two, two monitors and everything. So that's all good on that front. Uh, the rest of the parts should be coming the, the processor and the CPU cooler should be coming in on Monday, at which point I am hoping I will be able to finish putting this thing together, uh, and start getting some 10, 1080p on at least finding out what else I need to upgrade to get to that point because that's that's the ultimate goal 1080p at 30 frames per second I really want to be able to put out something really really high quality for you guys plus at that point when I um, when I do need to make video guides or something I can actually just use the stream footage I can tell XSplit or whatever program I'm using to um, to save the stream footage to my computer and then actually go ahead and just use that uh, for for whatever video guide, I don't have to like not be streaming because I'm trying to uh, trying to get footage for a video guide. So so that will be extremely good as well. Anyway, again, thank you guys so much. This has been a absolutely overwhelming experience for me, um, and I'm still trying to parse through all of it because it's kind of happened so quickly. But it's absolutely ridiculous, and I will eighty thousand percent be putting that back into providing you guys more quality content, more StarCraft stuff, more World of Warcraft stuff, more uh, even like just random other games that I'm playing. Like I will be able to stream Space Marine. I'll be able to stream APB. I have not been able to stream those games in the past. So I'll be able to stream myself playing basically everything at this point, And that's going to be awesome. I won't have to be like, oh, well, I feel bad if I'm playing these other games. I can actually go and play other games as well. And, uh, and still be able to stream them and hang out with you guys and actually show you guys what's interesting about them as well so you guys can then decide if it's something you want to be playing uh, on your own too so um, so yeah that's I think that's basically everything I had to say again thank you guys so much for all of your support and everything make sure you are watching my live streams especially come uh, maybe not Monday I might not have time to actually put everything together on Monday I'm hoping to try and make time because I really want to get this thing together uh, but starting next week at some point make sure you're watching my twitch tv page twitch.tv slash devil lore i will put a, a link in the description on youtube as well thank you so much once again see you guys later